Hey guys, oh my gosh, expect not a whole lot of energy from me because I am so tired. It is Labor Day weekend and I had planned to film two videos to get them up this weekend and of course, being the last minute Nancy that I am, here I am. It is 8.51 p.m. on Saturday and I just spent a whole day on a boat tanning. Um, you see that? Nice and golden, very rotisserie chicken, very happy with myself, but I wanted to do my little Ulta 21 Days of Beauty video for you guys. I have tried so many of these products, I think. I haven't even really looked at the list, but I've definitely shopped the sale in the past, and I just kind of wanted to give you guys my opinion on some of these products, let you know the scoop, so if you're interested, just keep watching. So I pulled it up on my phone. First day, which is September 1, which is my dear mother's birthday, is the 50% off benefit the Professional Face Primer. Usually it is about $32 to $54, and you can get it for $16 to $27. So I've never actually tried the Pore Professional. I'm not really a big pore minimizing primer kind of gal. I'm actually not a primer gal in general. So I can't recommend it for you, but I've heard nothing but good things. I just kind of don't really shop benefit. And then 50% off Peter Thomas Roth. Roth Eye. So it looks like two eye products, which is low-key interesting. It is a Retinol Fusion PM Eye Cream and a Firm X360 Eye Renewal. Both are well over $50. So if you're on the market for an eye cream. And then for the online exclusive, they have 50% off Lash Food, which I've never tried Lash Food, but I have tried whatever comes in the gold tube and it's pretty good. I thought it worked, but I couldn't keep up with that buying something and remembering to use it every night so I did stop using it and that's usually $78 and it's on sale for $39 online and 50% off Kate Somerville Retinol Firm Eye Cream which is usually $85 and on sale for $42.50. I've heard really good things about Kate Somerville. I do have the Exfolicate personally I don't really need it so I won't be buying it. And then I think this is one that everyone's going to go for Monday, September 2nd. Ofra highlighters are 50% off. They're $14.50, usually $29. I feel like, personally, Ofra products are pretty pricey. So the fact that you can score them at 50% off is a great deal. These are not for the faint of heart. They're very, very, very glowy. If you have a lot of texture, you might want to stay away, personally. I just think it's like the most so um, I wouldn't recommend getting it if you're like a little bit older like my age I have a few Ofra highlighters I'm happy I have them but it's not like my favorite highlighter brand 50% off for real Luna play plus these are like the little Luna products and they're 2450 usually 49 I think these have a limited usage. You can't like recharge them or anything. Once you use them up, they're gone. And I honestly prefer the Clarisonic. Online only, 50% off. Strivectin Advanced Retinol Intensive Night Moisturizer. That actually sounds kind of awesome. Um, regularly, it is $79 on sale for $39.50. Okay, and then a Diamond Platinum Exclusive. They're doing 50% off. The Clinique Take the Day Off Bomb, which again I've heard really good things about. Never been a huge fan of Clinique. Those are usually $30 on sale for $15. So if you're a fan, I would recommend stocking up. Like I said, not my favorite, so I will not be purchasing. This is really just going to be for anyone that doesn't want to buy anything but is tempted by the sale because I've shopped the sale so many times that I just... I'm so selective now. So here's something you want to avoid. The 50% off Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder, 1950. I did actually buy that powder because it had a really cool, it was like a party trick because when you touch it, it feels like you're touching wet powder and it's great. But I got rid of mine pretty quick after I heard Mel Thompson say that hers dried out. I didn't want to hold on to it, so I got rid of it. So for that reason, I would not recommend paying any money for it. 50% off Mario Badescu Rose Hip Nourishing Oil, $11, usually $22. I'm not really a huge fan of Mario Badescu skincare. I know a lot of people are, so if you are, that might be an interesting thing for you to pick up. 
Online only, 50% off. Ico mascaras, not really interested. 50% off. Butter London lips, that's also online only for $9 um, and above. And then online only, 50% off flesh highlighters. So usually they're about $18 to $28 and they'll be on sale for $9 to $14. Again, no interest in trying stick highlighters. So I'm going to be skipping on those. Now on September 4th, am I on the right date? I gotta do this 21 times, oh my gosh. September 4th, we've got 50% off Bare Mineral Concealers, usually 20 to 24, now 10 to 12. I've never been into Bare Minerals products, so not interested. 50% off Skin Icelandic Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels, usually 17, 50 to 32, now on sale for 8, 75 to 16. That sounds like a fun product. Um, I love a good under eye, you know, hydrating gel. Um, it looks like a little mask, so basically that looks interesting. Online only, 50% off. K-Beauty Select Brands, Aborian, IPKN, Touch and Soul, and TPSY. Um, so there's a few brands that'll be 50% off online, including that No Pro Problem um, primer, again, that everyone loves. I, again, not a primer person, so I couldn't tell you. September 5th, which is Thursday. 50% off Tarte, Tartus Double Take Eyeliners, $12 instead of $24. I don't need any eyeliner. Um, if this is your favorite eyeliner, you should stock up. Otherwise, I would pass 50% off MAC lipsticks in your Coffee and Diva. That'll be get, that'll make each lipstick $9.25 instead of $18.50. I remember this sale, like a few whenever they've done it in the past, like the stores get like gutted because people go nuts for MAC lipsticks. I think it's like a regular product that everyone like, like um, any like starter makeup collector kind of like, that's their like pinnacle of product is a MAC lipstick. So I think people go nuts for that. And then Diamond and Platinum Exclusive, 50% off MAC Ruby Woo, which is a red lipstick. Again, you can find drugstore dupes, ColourPop dupes. There's so many affordable versions of like a bullet lipstick. You don't need to buy MAC products. 50% off Murad Nutrient Charge Water Gel. That sounds kind of yummy. $60 now on sale for $30. And then online only, 50% off Shiseido Foaming Cleansers. Usually $36 now on sale for $18 that day. I've never tried anything from the Shiseido Foaming Cleansing line, so I can't tell you anything about that. Friday, September 6th, I would love to shop this sale, but I think I'm gonna be busy. On Friday, I got a bachelorette party to go to. 50% off Lancome Monster Big Mascara, now $12.50 instead of $25. That is my favorite mascara, so I would love to stock up on that, but I also have a few backups, so I'm okay. 50% off Paracone High Potency Collection, Usually in the 19, I'm uh, sorry, usually in the 38 to 99 dollar range and on sale for 19 to 49.50. I've never really tried anything from Paracone MD except the plasma toner and I didn't think it was that great. So I would just pass on all that. 50% off the Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. I did purchase this. It's grainy and they're really tiny grains, but the Downside is they're so fine that they get in your eyes. So you have to be very careful to thoroughly rinse your face before you open your eyes. Otherwise, you're going to get these little beads in your eyes. And that was like torture. So I just threw that product away because I hated getting all those grains in my eyes. I would literally keep my eyes tightly shut and I would still get product in my eyes. So I was not happy with that. Online only 50% off Estee Lauder Double Wear Instant Fix Concealer 24 Hour Conceal Hydra Prep. $29 now, $14.50. I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. It's like one of my ride or die foundations. So I'd be keen to try out the concealer, but <clears throat> I won't be available to shop the sale that day. So I will pass on that. And then Saturday, September 7th, 50% off Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. Usually $23 on sale for $11.50. I think most people just write like their regular brow pencil, so that's why the brow definer is constantly on sale. I personally got one for free once and I didn't like it. It was very dry and I could not draw one hair stroke with it. So I would pass on it. 
50% off Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream, usually $69 on sale for $34.50. I just bought a uh, Dermalogica face wash and it's pretty nice. I bought the one for sensitive skin just cuz and I like it but honestly I bought one from CeraVe that feels the same and I totally regret paying um, big bucks on the Dermalogica one so I'm sure you could find a dupe if needed. Okay and then online only 50% off cover effects select primers again not a primer girl. Juice Beauty Green Apple Age Defined Moisturizer, usually $50 on sale for $25. I've never tried anything from Juice Beauty. I've never heard anything like that wonderful about it. So again, I would pass. Then the next week, we're on to September 8th, which is Sunday. 50% off Too Faced Natural Face and Eye Palettes. I have never tried these palettes, but from the look of them, I would assume they're not tan girl friendly. Usually $38 to $44 on sale for $19 to $22. 50% off Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Super Light or Reduced Redness Primer. So it's not all Smashbox primers, it's just few those two primers, so keep that in mind. Not a primer person, cannot advise you on that. 50% off Derma Doctor Kaduku C 20% Vitamin C Serum and Ferulic Acid and Vitamin E. Usually $95 on sale for $47.50. I am not a skincare expert, so I can't tell you anything about that. Online only, 50% off Exuvian's Age Reverse Day Repair SPF 30. Now $36, usually $72. For face um, SPF, I use the Tatcha um, SPF, or I actually use the one Scott Barnes recommended in Tati's video, the Neutrogena, just the spray can, and that works perfectly. And... It's a great dark store product, plus you can use it all over your body. So I have been clinging to that with my claws this summer. And then Monday, September 9th, the all-nighter waterproof setting powder by Urban Decay is 50% off. I have this powder. Again, there are so many great powders coming out right now. I don't think you need to turn to this one. I just bought the Anastasia powder as well as the Pat McGrath powder. I think the Anastasia one is my favorite. I love how big and just like chunky the packaging is so you can get a nice big powder brush in there and powder your face like a rock star which i love 50 percent off peach and lily glass skin refined serum usually 39 now 1950 50 percent off benefit hula matte bronzing powder i'm curious to know if it's just the one shade of hula or the entire hula line because that would be a little colorist for them to just put the one shade of hula on sale so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Online only, 50% off Kanuka CBD Healing Skin Balm. Usually 58, now 29. I've never heard anything about that brand. So I would recommend passing on it <laughs> or just, I don't know, ask your friends. Also, why does Ulta make it so hard to find their 21 Days of Beauty ad on their app and stuff? That's super annoying. Okay. September 10th, 50% off the Too Faced Tutti Frutti palettes. They're usually $34 on sale for $17. I would honestly recommend those palettes. They're gorgeous. I decluttered both of mine because I wasn't using them enough, but I do think they're really, really nice palettes. And if you can get them on sale, you might want to consider picking one of those up. 50% off Dr. Brandt, 50% off Dr. Brandt, Needles No More. No more baggage. Um, I don't even know. I think it's an under eye situation. I have some samples of that stuff and I never got into it, so don't know what to tell ya. 50% off Buxom Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipstick. Um, I like the Buxom Glosses. I don't know anything about the Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipstick, so if y'all know, I would love to hear about it. 50% off St. Tropez Self Tan. Woof, I need that. That's online only. And then online only 50% off DHC cleansing oil. I am so well stocked on cleansers right now. So I will be happy to pass on that. September 11th, 50% off Buxom Plumpin' Lip Liners. I didn't hear good things about these on the internet. So I would steer clear. 50% off Proactive Charcoal Pore Cleansing Brush and Wash. I never got into proactive to be honest. I don't think I was necessarily ever their target market. 
So if that's something you like, check it out. I'm personally passing online only 50% off women founded. That's really cute. They're gonna do 50% off all the women founded brands. So Umo, Uma, I think is how I read that. Uma Beauty, LC, uh, Grande Cosmetics is the one that I tried the lash growing serum from and then the VAM stamp uh, will all be discounted um, during that day online. So I think that's pretty cool. Thursday, September 12th, 50% off Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. That mascara has been on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty for years and years and rare years. 50% off Mario Badescu Silic Cleansers. Don't like Mario Badescu. 50% off Paracone M Paracone Cold Plasma Collection. Online only. Again, not that into it. And then online only. 50% off Lancome. Skin feels good. Hydrating skin tint. I've never been able to successfully match myself to Lancome's foundation line, so I'm happy to pass on that. On Friday, September 13th, 50% off Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush and Highlighters. I do like their blushes. I don't necessarily think they're very tan girl friendly, but do you guys remember Liv Loves Her Makeup from the channel? <laughs> she used to love Tarte Highlighters, I believe. 50% off Clarisonic Cleansing Brush Heads. That's a great time to stock up. I actually have a Clarisonic, but my facialist told me they really dry out your skin, and I haven't really felt the need to use it, so I haven't been, but I plan on bringing it back at some point. Online only, 50% off Lorac Front of the Line Eyeliner. I think I've tried that. Not a huge fan of the liner. I think it's a brush tip liner, and I don't like brush tips because they always get stuck in the cap, and then they lose bristles or the bristles bend in awkward positions and there goes that. Online only 50% off Dermalogica Rapid Reveal Peel. Don't know anything about that. Don't really know that you should be putting peels on your skin. Can't advise. Saturday, September 14th. 50% off a Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. Full coverage moisturizer. Never really liked anything from It Cosmetics as far as complexion products. I always feel like they look gray on my skin tone. So I will not be partaking. 50% off Kylie Cosmetics Matte and Velvet Lip Kits. That's kind of fun. I feel like the kids would love that. I think her products are pretty drying. Also for the price, is it like worth it? If I have to stomach a dry matte liquid lipstick, I'm at least just going to buy ColourPop and save my money. You know what I mean? 50% off Philosophy Night Creams. Not really a fan of the brand. Online only Lime Crime High Light Palettes. 38 on sale for 19. I feel like this would be any like unicorn fans dream. They look really beautiful and fun. Not my vibe. Not really into colorful highlighters, so I will be passing on that. And then online only 50% off Murad AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser. Listen, I'm a fan of Murad skincare products. I haven't tried this line. I'd be curious to try it, but I really try not to participate in the 21 Days of Beauty sale. I've bought so many things from that sale. I just don't choose to support it at this point in my life, which is fine. Sunday, September 15th, 50% off Tarte, Tartlet 2 in Bloom. Clay Eyeshadow Palette, Snooze Fest. I literally got tired just saying the name of that palette. I actually used to own it. It used to be one of my favorite palettes before I realized that, uh, gray tones aren't flattering on my skin tone. It was, little, it was like rubbing ash on my eyes. I don't know what I was doing. I used to think Tarte was pigmented. I don't know, okay? Don't judge me. So that might be a good starter palette though for, you know, anyone that wants a good neutral, everyday, work appropriate wedding palette. That is your palette. Maybe a, you know, funeral that you need to attend. You guys really liked when I said um, the, um, Busy Art Neutral Maps palette was like my go-to funeral palette, which I can't tell you the last time I've been to a funeral, and I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone. Okay, 50% off. I'm so tired. 50% off Too Faced Hangover Replenish Face Primer and 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I would be curious to try the setting spray. I'm not gonna lie. The primer I bought because Kathleen Lights literally raved about it for like a hundred years. And once I got it, it was just another, like, hydrating primer. Like, just get some moisturizer. You don't need this cute packaging. So, 
pass, 50% off Mario Badescu toners, don't care, 50% off Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Serum by Peter Thomas Roth. I remember when that came out, they tried to like really hype it up, but I don't think it ever took off, so there's that. Okay, camera battery died. I am so tired. Okay, so where was I? <laughs> Um, Monday, September 16th, listen carefully kids, 50% off IT brushes for Ulta, so not all IT Cosmetics brushes, just some IT Cosmetics brushes, specifically the ones they make for Ulta, so don't buy the wrong brushes, they're going to be $13 to $24. I mean, I have some IT Cosmetics brushes that my husband's ex-stepsister gave me, um, those ones that had the glitter handles. They're nice, but I wouldn't have paid for them, so whatever. Um, I don't really like it. Cosmetics as a brand, in case you guys didn't know. 50% off Strivectin a Wrinkle Recoded Lined Transforming Melting Serum. Never tried it online. 50% off Dr. Brand Microderm Abrasion Skin Exfoliator. I've tried that product. It's okay. I wouldn't buy it in the full size. Online only. 50% off skincare tools, skincare... Um, so skincare tools, Nurse, Jamie, PMD, Michael Todd. I've tried the Michael Todd shaver. Honestly, very overpriced. Just buy a razor from Amazon if you want to shave your face. I have my ones linked in my Amazon's favorite link down in my description box. And it's the one every YouTuber I think uses. I definitely know Samantha March has recommended them too, so... Just get those. You don't need a $90 face shaver. I totally regret buying that. I should probably actually just sell it on Poshmark. Maybe somebody would like to pick it up and try it out. Okay, let's see here. So Tuesday, September 17th, 50% off Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I picked this up in a previous sale. It will be $17.50, like I said. I've tried so many good powders recently. Why pick up something old when there's so many new great things to try? Especially if you're a YouTuber, don't buy old hyped up stuff because somebody's telling you it's a good deal. You don't need it. 50% off Cervital High Dietary Supplement. Pass. <laughs> Listen, if I don't have foundation on my nose, like, forget you guys. Also, I put on the Pat McGrath foundation and I really like how it looks. Okay, online only, 50% off Lipstick Queen Medieval Collection. I never got into the Lipstick Queen thing, so pass. 50% off Skin Icelandic by Bright Brightening Eye Serum, $20. That sounds nice, but I won't buy it because I don't need it. Wednesday, September 18th, 50% off Pure Mascara and Eyelashes. I've heard Samantha March rave about Pure's lashes, so if you wanted to try them, that might be the chance. I don't like paying for falsies. Especially like $20 falsies, so no thank you. 50% off First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser, limited edition. It's cute packaging. I like the cleanser. Um, First Aid Beauty makes really nice, non-intense cleaning, like facial products. So if you're on the market for something, or actually even if you're like picking up something for your husband, I think that would be a great face cleanser. 50% off long comb. Pass. I don't even want to read about it. I'm so tired. Okay. Online only. 50% off Discovery Brands. Discovery Brands are BDL, Teamy, Fountain of Truth, Tula, Zilch, and Elemis. I picked up the Tula like bomb that's like a cooling eye bomb and I thought it was the most overhyped trash I've ever tried. So I don't know that I love that brand. Okay, Thursday, September 19th. This is the sale I like. They've done this before. 50% off dose of colors. Matte, lip li matte liquid lipsticks. These liquid lipsticks used to be the rage among YouTubers, especially like the LA crowd, um, because I think they were all friends with, is it Anna somebody that runs, I can't remember. Whoever runs dose of colors. And anyway, they're nice liquid lipsticks. They're comfortable. I like the shades very fun shade so if you're in the market for a good liquid lipstick formula i would recommend 50 percent off origins i've never been into the origins brand and it's their fresh faves faced faves set that will be on sale 50 percent off derma blend online only eliminating banana powder and insta grip jelly primer i've tried the derma blend powder it used to be so hyped on youtube i think patrick star used to use it 
and that's why I bought it when it was on sale and I didn't think that it was that great so pass on that and the Instagram jelly primer I've never tried and then 50% off patchology flash patch rejuvenating eye gels I actually used to own these they were nice I didn't use them enough and then the other day I wanted to use them and they had gotten moldy in my fridge so I threw them out with a swiftness Okay, now we're on to Friday, September 20th, 50% off It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer, $13. My sweet friend Letitia actually sent me a few shades and I've been meaning to test out that concealer and I haven't, mostly because it's a squeezy tube and I prefer my concealer just to have a doe foot because I don't like to dip into stuff and I'm like, this is like I can easily apply it and then beauty blend it. So that's kind of annoying, so I haven't really tried them yet, and again, don't like it cosmetics. It Brushes for Ulta will be on sale again on September 20th. Just the concealer brushes though, so make sure you don't buy the wrong br uh, brushes. 50% off Clinique Moisture Splurge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator, 1050. I've tried this before, not a huge fan to be very honest, but it's affordable, so if you want it, you should consider getting it. I do love the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser, and that will be on sale for $8, usually $16, and this is an online exclusive. I have plenty of those soaps, so I won't be buying it, but if you wanted to try it, it might be a good time to do so, to clean your brushes and your sponges. Online only, 50% off Derma Doctor. KP Duty Body Scrub with Chemical Plus Physical Exfoliant. I have not felt the need to try that, so I will be passing on that. And I made it to the last day. I am so sick of talking. And I still need to film another video, so get excited. So did they save the best for last? We've got 50% off Urban Decay, 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils. I do love a good Urban Decay eyeliner pencil, especially the colorful eyeliners. So I don't need any, but if you're on the market, I've got a few shades that I really enjoy, especially the green shades. I like the green shades and the darker shades. The lighter shades don't show up on my skin tone so much and I really don't like how many blue shades they have that are like the same sea foamy. Not sea foamy, but just like the sky blues. Mm. I could use more, more, more options. I would love for them to do neons. Like, can we, can we get on that? Also, I would love for a makeup line to do kind of what Melt did with the liquid lipsticks where they did foundation shade, liquid lipsticks. I would love a eyeliner inspired by foundation shades that will be epic because i would like the perfect eyeliner for my skin tone no makeup makeup day type situation 50 percent off juice beauty stem cellular anti-wrinkle moisturizer and stem cellular anti-wrinkle booster serum that sounds like they're gonna send you off in a spaceship i personally don't want to try that and then that last day diamond and platinum exclusive 50 percent off tarte double duty beauty shape tape contour concealer I feel like Shape Tape was so 2017 and then it like hung on for 2018 and now I'm like, you know what, we're good. We're good, thank you. Like, I threw mine away. I really enjoy my Fenty concealer. I like the Maybelline Age Rewind I've been using. The new Juvia's one is great as well. So I'm ready to leave Tarte Shape Tape in the past where it belongs. Anyway, I'm sorry this video was very low key and I tried to bring my sassy bitchy attitude out a little bit extra tonight to over to compensate overcompensate just to compensate for my lack of enthusiasm towards this video and this sale i hope you guys enjoyed leave me your thoughts down below you guys know i love chatting to you in the comments and i will catch you in my next video soon bye guys